Welcome to Electron Online, and here's the next type of crystal structure. It's made out of molecules, so we call it molecular crystal structure. And a really good example of that is silicon dioxide, also known as quartz. So, type of glass made out of just pure silicon and oxygen, and that makes for a very interesting, interesting kind of glass. And we'll get into that a little bit later in a, when we talk about glass structure. But now we want to talk about a crystalline structure made out of molecules, sulfur dioxide. So normally you would have a structure like this between one sulfur and two oxygens, but when it gets into a crystalline structure, things change a little bit. What happens here is that you have silicon and four oxygens connected to the one silicon. So you say, well, well, how can you then have silicon dioxide? Because here it seems like you have one silicon and four oxygens, so that doesn't quite match up to the formula. But what happens is that two of those oxygens here are also connected to another silicon right here. So you can see that in the end, there'll only be a two to one ratio between oxygen and silicon. So in this particular way, the silicon dioxide forms what we call a tetrahedral structure, just kind of like what diamond does. And so you end up with something like this. If you get the drift, so you have the silicon in the middle, and then we have the four oxygens like that. So here I have a, a little model for that. So it looks kind of like that. And what you will not have compared to diamond is you will not have where all of the carbons are shared in such a way that you have a complete crystal structure. Nothing is, uh, there's nothing unconnected, so to speak. In silicon dioxide, it's a little bit more um, uh, open. So that means that in some cases you will have kind of uh, oxygen sitting out there with not no other silicon connected to it because there's not enough silicon to do that. But in the end, you do have a fairly strong structure with this tetrahedral shape and the combination like this where some of the oxygen molecules are shared up between the silicons. When that happens, you end up with something that's really hard, has a very high boiling point, has a very high uh, a melting point. And so just like diamond, it has a lot of the similar uh, I would say properties, but of course not quite like diamond. Crystal and uh, quartz is much more easily shattered. It doesn't hold on to itself quite as strong as diamond does. And that's because it's molecular rather than just one atom in the entire structure. But anyway, just a nice little example of what molecular crystal structures look like. And I'll show you in the next video, or not quite the next, but in a few videos from now, I will show you what various types of glass crystal structures will look like in a, a little bit more of a plainer view so you can get a, a much more of a feel for it. But at least at this point, you realize again that you can have crystal structure made out of just single atoms. You can make, have crystal structure made out of molecules. You can have crystal structure with covalent bonding and so forth. So let me show you what it looks like on the next video. We're going to do some metal crystal structures and see that that is even much more strange than molecular structures.